Hey everyone, Ace Gamer Studios here, and guys, today, welcome to another video of the AGS Review Series, guys. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the 2019 Batmobile Pursuit of the Joker. This set was a um, tribute to the 80th anniversary of Batman. The set number was 76119 and retailed for $30. The set, um, the total of pieces in the set is 342 pieces and comes with two minifigures. Today we're going to take a look at the Batmobile and then we're going to head off to the minifigures. Now, if you guys happen to enjoy this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, share this video with a friend, comment down below guys, and also do not forget to follow me on Instagram and join my Discord server. So with that being said, let's get right to it. Alrighty guys, so obviously, like I said, we're going to start off with the Batmobile and I gotta say, as my second DC set um, in my collection, honestly, it wasn't that entirely bad um honestly having this set made makes me wish that i had more dc batman sets and, and honestly it just kind of makes me annoyed how i only have this and i wasn't interested on in getting any of the other dc sets at the time now if you're looking for a batmobile this is probably one of the best batmobile designs that you can potentially get in, in your collection and, and there's a lot of um detailing and this um, kind of displayability and everything you got the back engine here which has um a pretty interesting in, um detailing and everything you could put um a fire piece right here and everything and every time you will basically move this it turns this and it will move the fire in a circle which is pretty cool there's also a stud shooter your function with the set but um, I do not have the stud shooters on there because I am not risking losing them. And the cockpit of the um, Batmobile is actually pretty interesting. Honestly, I figured there would have been more, a little bit more detailing or an actual seat in the set, but it does kind of make sense because obviously you got Batman's cow and everything, and it's a little bit um, bigger, so you can simply just fit Batman in here. here. Okay, I was finally able to get Batman in there, but simply you can do that, put it in, and put it um, close to the top, and just simply drive around, and honestly, it is kind of fun just doing um, that, so anyhow, that is the Batmobile, honestly, a very solid build, now let's take a look at the minifigures. Now, starting off with the Clown Prince of Crime, we have the Joker, now from my understanding, this is the same Joker from pretty much every single DC Batman set that we have received. There's nothing really interesting about him. Now, what I do find pretty interesting, though, is that he does remind me a lot about the Joker from the Michael Keaton, Tim Burton um, films. Especially the one where he's in um, the Michael Keaton film where he ends up dying and everything. I think that's the only film that that Joker is represented in. In, um that batman trilogy but honestly i really do like it i kind of wish he had a um there was a newer joker with a big a little bit of extra hair on it and the second facial expression is with him giving a smirk so honestly really neat minifigure to have and obviously if you do not have a joker i mean at this point you should already have one do go get one so let's take a look at the dark knight Alrighty guys, here is the Dark Knight. Now what I find pretty interesting about this one is that it has no resemblance to the Michael Keaton Batman, but the Batmobile as well as the Joker do represent um, the Michael Keaton film that they were featured in, so you would kind of figure that this Batman would also be the case, but no, it's actually based off of the new 52 um, design of Batman, which honestly I do like, and I also like the kind of yellow golden printing around the bat symbol honestly it does add a little bit of flair to the outfit besides your casual black and gray now batman does feature a extra facial expression where he's giving a smirk but i rather prefer the serious face i mean batman's always serious and he doesn't normally give any smirks unless you're watching the lego batman movie so anyhow those are the minifigures i really do like this and i hope to get more er, um, Batman related minifigures similar to this especially when it comes to the DCEU so anyhow let's end this video alrighty guys so that is the review of the 2019 Batmobile um, I hope you guys enjoyed this review I do really like this set 
I do recommend giving getting it. Um, I'm gonna give the set a rating a 7.5 out of 10. Honestly, this was a very enjoyable build, but after build after building the Wonder Woman 1984 set and then coming to this, honestly, it wasn't that exciting for me. Um, but I do recommend getting this set. Um, I believe the set is still out on stock. If not, you can go check eBay or Bricklink. You'll probably find this set for a pretty reasonable price. So anyhow, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all next time. Peace out.